Hello everyone, Light Brawler here once again, and we are back with more Persona 5 Royal. We pretty much just started the game, and now we have to live an honest life, but also having to go into a double life trying to actually stop people from, uh, abusing the world and, uh, their own vices and stuff, like with, uh, Kamoshida. But before we get into, uh, the shenanigans with Persona 5, uh, I do have an announcement to make regarding, uh, the Pyromancers. So, we actually did finish this, uh, this afternoon earlier, but I would like to actually make an announcement that we are actually having an e-flick, which, it's been a while since we've had one of those. It's been, like, two and a half years since the last one, from what I remember. And we're gonna actually be having an e-flick of Spark of Friendship. So, that'll be fun. It should be coming out, uh within near future, so be sure to actually keep uh, your eyes on that, because that would actually be lots and lots of fun to, like, you know, uh, bear witness to that. And also, I actually decided that for... I'm actually spreading my wings a little bit with uh, the whole thing with Twitter, so I actually have a uh, co-host, which is at uh, www.cohost.org, it kind of looks like Tumblr from what I looked at, but I might also be starting to uh, post things there. I mean, it needs to get a little bit more traction, but I think it'll be a good alternative for, you know, Twitter if it decides to go down the uh, spiraling route that it is, which is not fun. But, yeah, those are just like a little bit of the announcements that I have to uh, make for now. And now we have to actually consider what we have to do next. So... We pretty much can't do anything aside from going to bed and having to, like, figure out, uh, what we're gonna have to do against Kamashia, so we have no choice but to go to bed. Oh, we got a phone call. That thingy on your phone was some red eyeball icon, right? Uh, yeah. We ended up that weird app when we- weird place when we used the nav app, right? I found it on my phone, too. I don't even remember installing it! Uh, that's creepy. For real? What is this thing? Think it's being downloaded on its own somewhere? It's dangerous to use something without knowing what it is. Yep. You know what they say. Careful with your eggs unless you want to scramble them. Also, I honestly hope that, uh... Corvid conviction that your, uh... Merciless Pixie Run or your Pixie Only One, whatever difficulty you're doing, is gonna be... Fantastic. Alright. But with it, we can go to that weird place, right? It seems like it. Basically, it's gonna depend on how we use it. But first, we gotta find evidence for the beatings. I'm counting you, alright? Don't go ditching school on me. I feel exhausted. Maybe it's because of the metaverse. We'll have to sleep. We have no choice in this matter. Oh boy, time to get dunked into the velvet room. Sixty-five times the ouch. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Well, you gotta soup up that pixie to have like max stats on everything then. And make it level 99 and have like all the broken crap. And make it have every immunity possible, Corvid Conviction. I thought about resuming our previous conversation tonight. That is why I have summoned you. What are your thoughts? Are you becoming accustomed to this place? Yeah, I kind of figured that to grind in the first place to get to be successful, yeah, that would be kind of like rough. Are we going to actually be accustomed to this, pa this place? I guess. I don't like the fact that I'm in chains, the fact that there are two uh, girls being my wardens and trying to, like, you know, uh, kick me in the balls, but yeah. Ah, oh, glad to hear it. It seems you have nerves of steel. The goal of your rehabilitation is to thwart the fated ruin. However, such a feat cannot be done by you alone. Today, you entered a partnership with someone who awoke to the same power, did you not? I mean, if you're referring to Blondie slash Ryuji, yes. 
Involving yourself with others is an important foundation for your recovery. You've done well. That said, I am not advising the formation of superficial relationships. It must not be a frivolity, but a ring of those who would, by morals or faith, lend you their strength. In other words, they are bonds with those who have been robbed of their places to belong. The expansion of said ring will, in return, help you mature as well. Personas are the strength of heart. The stronger the bonds that surround you, the more power your personas will gain. There are countless people in the city who have talents that a weakling like you doesn't. You better rack that noggin of yours and get them on your side. We'll change that into power. Confidants are people we trust who share a similar goal. You can find these people in places like school or around town. Try forming bonds with people by visiting them multiple times, earning their trust and proving your value. Once you have formed a bond, you're, you can open the menu with the X button and select Confidant to check the strength of your relationships. But... I, the only Confidant I have is with Ryuji, and we only have Arsene. There's only going to be so much that we could do with Arsene. So I think we're going to have to get more uh, personas. Indeed, you should be prepared to use even myself, or your ambitions will not come to fruition. <laughs> we have a deal then. It feels like Igor has high expectations of me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the full persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Alright. The Prison Master Confidant is available, and we have an ability known as Wild Talk, which allows us to negotiate with Shadows after performing a holdup. And Arcanaverse, which earns a bonus experience when fusing personas based on the full Arcana's Confidant rank. Alright. You have learned the Wild Talk ability Wild Talk and Arcana Burst from Igor. People you have formed a bond with have special confidant abilities. Your confidant rank indicates the strength of your trust with someone. As their rank increases, more of their confidant abilities will be unlocked. Press the X button to open the menu, then select confidant. From there you can check each confidant's arcana, rank, and abilities. Well, you will understand it all in due time. Continue devoting yourself to your rehabilitation. Now this conversation's over. Get lost, inmate. Okay, okay, jeez, goodbye. You, who got to be in a bonnet with you? How annoying. We've barely started high school and already they're making us play at a volleyball rally? And why are they pitting us against the teacher team? Kamoshida's gonna crush us. We get to see his technique live and in person, though. We should totally get spiked on. Yeah, okay. You're gonna get your face smashed in. Just look at how banged up the volleyball team is. What the hell goes on during their practices? Oh, boy. Okay, quiet down. Okay, listen up, everyone. As you know, today is the volleyball rally, so make sure that you polish all those balls in the in the gym. Head to the gymnasium once you're changed. Got it? Yeah, let's get squashed by Wesker. Ow. You still got it, coach. Thanks. Let's go for one more. Still sticks out. 
hasn't changed a bit. Hmm? <sighs> Pretty boring. Right? <laughs> acting like a king over here, too. Get to know each other better, my ass. It's just a one-man show for him to stroke his ego. Oh, oh, and how he acted like he was worried about Mishima. Oh, what an abusive D-bag. <clears throat> well, anyways, now's our chance to go look for the guys we saw were slaves yesterday. Let's look for the faces we saw at the castle. All the members of the team should be here today. I'll be sure to find someone to spill about Kamoshida's physical abuse. Just you wait, asshole. Alright. Alright, uh... Oh, you're coming with me, too. The first one that popped out was a guy from Class D. So let's start from there. That's your class. Hopefully you can get him to talk without any issues. People have been avoiding me lately, so... Oh, but you're kind of in the same boat, huh? Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. I, I got... No shit, Sherlock. I just got pretty much uh, sued by by a man, by a bald guy. You think that anyone in my class is gonna actually be uh, understanding anything about this whole abuse situation? Okay, we can quick travel with the map. So let's actually go to the second floor because we're second year. Okay, maybe we can talk with people around. Yo. You're on the newspaper, right? You need to see it's on the volleyball team. I can't. Every time I try to look into them, the higher-ups of our school pressure me out of it. Huh? The hell? So come she is pulling strings behind the scenes? Can we stop this? I'd rather not get into trouble for talking to you guys. <laughs> Fine. Nope, oh, can't talk to her. That would be useful, though. Sadly, she's not a confidant, and she's just uh, here for whatever reason. Alright, class 2D. What? Are you skipping out on the volleyball rally? I guess I expect it from you, Transfer. Hey, that's the guy who was over at that castle. You too, Sakamoto? What do you guys want? Um, how did you get in here? It's from practice. What does that have to do with anything? Kamoshida did it to you, right? Look, I ain't gonna tell anyone you squealed. Just tell us about how Kamoshida's abusing you. I... I don't know what you're talking about. Um, are you afraid? I'm not. You guys are talking complete nonsense. Don't try and hide it. We already know. Y you know? You have proof. Well, uh... I... Smooth, Ryuji. Real smooth. This is ridiculous. Please, leave me alone. You're really bothering me. <sighs> Alright, that's enough. Come on, let's go. Yeah, real smooth, Ryuji. We can't be discreet because... That injury uh... ain't normal, and he still won't fess up. Ah, crap. If we keep going at this pace, the ball game's gonna end. Well, we should try to split up and cover more ground. I guess that'd be faster. I'll take the practice building for people before clubs start. You handle the classroom building. There's a third year on the volleyball team that I remember. I think he's in... 3C? He was getting beat pretty badly at the castle. He might have some injuries here, too. Anyways, I'll hit you up if I find anything. See ya. All right, time to investigate. Uh, let's go upstairs to the third floor, then. All right, 3C. Actually, no, that's downstairs. Why? I keep forgetting. 
all the class, the all the seniors are on the bottom floor. Everyone's saying a lot of bad stuff about that transfer student in your class, huh? Uh, no, I hate rumors already, but they're only getting more and more complex as time goes on. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he's alright. I hope he's not letting you get to him. That's just like you, Shiho. Always worrying about other people before yourself. Yeah. Kind of like when you were there for me. Well, it seems like they have a good relationship. A good friendship, I say. Okay, that's 3E. Mm -hmm. C is this room right here. I don't see any noticeable in I don't see any students with any noticeable injuries. There's no time for detours. Up today, do we? I forgot to tell the first years. Come on, man, you better get to the third floor quick. Nothing over in this area. How about you? Uh, not yet. Well, let's keep at it. Wonder if we could track some third years and ask them. I don't see any on my end, so let's check around where you are. That looked like it hurt. Is that practice always like that? I know, right? That guy was like all bruises. I'm amazed they don't quit, and when you ask if they're okay, they get super pissed. Dude, not so loud. I mean, it's the fastest way to get college recommendation, right? Just let it go. Mm -hmm. Man, cleaning up after the volleyball rally is gonna be such a goddamn pain. Eh, what do you want? You got something to say? How did you get hurt? Uh... It's from practice. Hey, I know who this guy is. He's that transfer student that's been hanging out with Sakamoto. Oh, I get it. You're trying to snoop on Mr. Kamoshida, right? Look, our volleyball team performs at a national level. Of course our practices are going to get tough. Mr. Kamoshida is just dedicated to training us. Don't believe everything Sakamoto says. You sure it's not abuse? Uh-huh. As if. Hey, we should stop talking. What if he loses and starts attacking us? I heard he even carries a knife around. Who knows what he's capable of? How's it going? Well, he refused. Him too? Man, everyone's too proud about Kamoshida. But I still got a lead. A first year, a new member. He just joined, so he might not be well wrapped up in Kamoshida's web of bullshit yet. Go ask him if around with the first year, see if you can find him. Alright, you can check the messages you received by pressing Y, and icon will appear on any uh, unread messages. Only the 50 most recent chat threads we save, old chats we automatically delete, so don't forget to read them. So, if they're literally first years, then they're gonna be on third floor. So, let's investigate that. Practice has just been hot, so hard. I haven't been getting any. Huh? What do you want? Are you on the volleyball team? Huh? No, I'm not. Why? What's going on? Hey, isn't he, you know, the scary guy? What? Why didn't you say so? I can't believe I talked to him. Oh, uh, never mind. I'm in a hurry, so I've got to go. Go in the library.
There he is. Uh, yeah, I'm on the volleyball team. What do you want? Um, what are the duties? Uh, oh, these? It, it happened during practice. I mean, everyone on the team's got injuries like this. Mishima Senpai has an especially bad, though. He gets to deal with Mr. Kamashita's special coach. Oh, uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. Mishima? I can't do it. Please, just stop talking to me. Ask someone else if you want to know more. Attention. Attention. All matches have concluded. Please get ready to go home for today. Damn it, we're out of time. How'd we go? No good. So you didn't have any luck either. Okay, let's regroup for now. See you in the courtyard? Can I talk to you for a sec? Oh, on. Uh, what is it? It'll be quick. Anyway, what's with you? Like how you were late the other day was a lie and all? There's that weird rumor about you, too. What do you want with him? Right back at you. You're not even in our class. We just happen to get to know each other. What are you planning on doing to Mr. Kamoshida? Huh? I see. I get ya. You're all buddy-buddy with Kamoshida after all. This has nothing to do with you, Sakamoto. If you found out what he's been doing behind your back, you'd dump him right away. Behind my back? What's that supposed to mean? You wouldn't get it. Anyway, people are already talking about you two. I don't know what you're trying to pull, but no one's gonna help you. I'm warning you, just in case. That's all. At least she's trying to be honest. She gotta be so aggressive all the time. Well, you know her personally? We just went to the same middle school. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. I had no luck on my end. What about you? Did anything like someone's name turn up? Uh. Mishima, Kitajima, Emphysema. Mishima. Huh? Special coaching, huh? True. I always see the guy covered in bruises. Let's go talk to him before he leaves then. To be fair, he's in my class. Hey, got a second? Sakamoto? And you too. Come on, we just want to chat. Kamoshida's been coaching you, huh? You sure it's not just physical abuse? Certainly not. What are you talking all polite for? Anyways, we saw him spike you today, right in the face. That was just because I'm not good at the sport. Still, that doesn't explain all the other bruises you've got. They're from practice. Is he forcing you to keep quiet? That's... What's going on here? Mishima, isn't it time for practice? Uh, I'm not feeling well today. What? Maybe you're better off quitting then. You're never going to improve that crappy form unless you show up to practice. Didn't you hear? He ain't feeling well. Well, Mishima, are you coming to practice or not? I'll go. As for you, any more trouble and you'll be gone from this school for sure. Bastard. Same goes for you. Didn't the principal tell you to keep in line? I was just leaving. <laughs> just don't get in the way of my practice. All these unsettling rumors are making the students anxious after all. That's your own goddamn fault. <laughs> this won't get us anywhere. Let's go, Mishima. Shujin Academy is a place where those with aspirations come to learn. Unworthy students like yourselves don't have any right to be here. Get with the program. Yes, sir. That asshole. He's gonna pay for this. There's no point. Huh? 
Proving that he's physically abusing us is meaningless. Everybody knows. The principal, our parents, they all know, and they all keep quiet about it. This has got to be a joke. Don't be a pain. You don't understand what I'm going through. Shouldn't you of all people know that nothing's going to help? <sighs> Well, what now? I'll try one more time to persuade the other guys. That's all I can do. <sighs> I'm worn out from all the stuff that happened today. I should probably head to sleep soon. Another call. Hey, this doesn't make any damn sense. The principal and even the parents know about the abuse. Why isn't anyone speaking up? I think they're afraid of Kamashita. That can't be the only thing keeping both the principal and the parents quiet, though. It's basically because the Kamashita made the volleyball team famous, yeah? Even so, they don't give him the right to do whatever he wants. He's being kids up, and that's all they're allowed to do is endure. And that follower of his doesn't give one single shit. Uh, who are you talking about? On to Kamaki. You met her in the courtyard, remember? You should know her. I mean, she's in your class, dude. Uh, what a load of bull. I can't let it end like this. I'm gonna try and find someone who knows about what's going on with Kamaki during break tomorrow. Just see, watch. I ain't giving up. Beat from running around all day. Time to sleep. Did you see Mr. Kamashita play yesterday? He was so awesome! I think I might ask for his autograph after school. I don't know if that's such a good idea. I heard that you shouldn't go near the P faculty office. People say you can hear weird sounds like screaming, even though no one's there. What? That's probably just some rumors spread by fans to scare the competition. Witnesses. I was wondering if we could get something out of Takami. I mean, since she's with Kamashita? No, that ain't why. You know how we didn't get a thing out of the volleyball team? I figured it'd be a good idea to talk to someone who knows them. Takamaki's BFFs with the starter, a girl named Suzuki. I tried to talk to that girl during the break, but I got nothing. That's why we should have Takamaki talk to her. Then again, I guess it'll be hard getting her to help us. Sorry, let me see what else I can come up with. Shouldn't you be heading to volleyball? Uh-huh. That bruise above your eye. Is that from practice, too? Y yeah Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. Volleyball's the only thing I can do right. Shouldn't you take that? It's probably just my part-time job, I think. I should get going. Shiho. Are you sure you're okay? Uh-huh. Yes. Today won't work. I'm... I'm not feeling so good. Sorry. Bye. Hey, wasn't that Takamaki? Rumor has it she's dating Kamashita. Seriously? I heard people saw them in his car together. You know, she seems pretty easy, huh? You think I'd have a chance to? Come on, dude. You can't go after Kamashita's bitch. Wow. Savage. <sighs> what? Uh, oh, 
I'm in the way, aren't I? Sorry. Uh, don't worry about it. I really am sorry, though. I must have spaced out. Hmm. You don't look familiar. Could you be that transfer student from Class D? Yes. Um, this might not be any of my business, but don't let the rumors get to you, okay? They don't bother me. I'm glad to hear that. My best friend is often misunderstood too, all because of her looks. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to drag on like that. Anyway, I have to go to practice. I'll see you around. Damn it! What the hell? Did you find someone? <sighs> Is that what it looks like? All of them kept saying the same shit Mishima was talking about. Kamoshida had to have told them something. At this rate, looks like we'll have to go to him directly. I mean, there's no point. He's not gonna... Didn't, he's not gonna, like, uh, tell us anything. I know. But seriously, isn't there something we can do? No way I'm gonna give in like this. Can you think of anything? The cops ain't gonna do anything, because we would get expelled, though, so the only way we could potentially get through is a sneak attack, but we have to go into the metaverse and go back to the castle. Oh, that'd be fine if we could do it without getting caught, but if we did, we'd be seriously done for. You got any other ideas? The cops aren't gonna do anything. So you wanna tell them about the castle? They'd never believe us. <sighs> Have any other ideas? What do we do? Let's punish the king. The king? You mean that other world's Kamoshida? I didn't think of that, but is there any meaning to... I finally found you! Cat! You say something. Don't think you can get away with not paying me back for helping you. That voice... Is that you, Morgana? How dare you up and leaving me the other day! The cat's talking? I am not a cat! This is just what happened when I came to this world. It was a lot of trouble finding you two. Wait, you came to our world? <gasps> Does that mean you've got a phone? Do you think that the cat would have a phone? You don't need one when you're at my level. I did get pretty lost making my escape, though. That aside, why can you talk? You're a cat! How should I know? You hearing this too? I mean, yeah. Then it really is Morgana. You guys are having a rough time of this, hmm? I heard you mention something about witnesses. Oh, shut up! You know, I could tell you a thing or two about what to do about Kamashita. You were pretty close just a moment ago. God, that condescending attitude. This thing's gotta be Morgana. You were still doubting me? Yeah, quiet down! Uh, we really have to be looking for a cat in a busy time like this? I just heard a meow somewhere near here. Didn't you hear it? Uh, make sure you check every nook and cranny around. Meow? Does that mean only us two can understand what you're saying? Looks like it. What the hell's going on? Anyways, what you were talking about earlier, is it for real? You're quite the skeptic for being an idiot. Hey, tell us more. Then again, this probably ain't the best place. Here, stick it in your bag for now. It should be just small enough to fit. Hey, how dare you treat me like... Well... Want to get caught by the disciplinary committee? Don't be so rough with me. Enough of that. You said you know how we can do something about Kamoshida, right? It has to do with what this guy was talking about earlier. You'll need to attack his castle. What do you mean? That castle is how Kamoshida views this school. 
He doesn't realize what happens in there, but it's deeply connected to the depths of his heart. Thus, if the castle disappears, it would naturally impact the real Kamoshida. What had happened? A palace is a manifestation of a person's distorted desires. So, if that castle were no more... His desires would go too. Precisely. You sure pick up things fast. For real? He he's gonna turn good? But is that really getting back at him? Erasing a palace essentially means forcing the owner to have a change of heart. However, even though their warped wants disappear, the crimes they committed remain. Kamoshida will become unable to bear the weight of those crimes, and he'll confess them himself. You for real? That's possible? And since the palace will no longer exist, he'll forget what we did there as well. Not only will we be able to bring Kamoshida down, but there won't even be a trace of our involvement. That's amazing! You are one incredible cat! True. Except for the cat part. So, how do we get rid of the palace? By stealing the treasure held within. Stealing? I'll tell you more once you agree to go ahead with this. It's my most valuable secret plan, after all. Secret plan, got it. If you want to help me out, I'll gladly teach you. What's your call? Alex running dry looking for witnesses. Guess we have no choice but to go along. Right, there's no other way. Good. Oh, right. There's one more thing I should tell you. If we erase a palace, there is no doubt that the person's distorted desires will be erased as well. But desires are what we all need in order to survive. The will to sleep, eat, fall in love, those sorts of things. What are you getting at? If all of those yearnings were to vanish, they'd be no different than someone who is shut down entirely. They may even die if they're not given proper care. So... They might die! Will you listen to everything I have to say first? Would their death be our fault? Aren't you determined enough to face those kinds of risks? Hey, what do you think? It's risk versus reward. We could basically take out Kamoshida, but it would end up pretty much having a mental shutdown in the process. We don't want to technically kill him, but we have to take the risk in order to get that to work. For real? Sheesh. I come all this way, and this is what I get. It's not like anyone will ever find out. That's not the point. If we just go around secretly doing whatever we want, we'd be no better than that effing Kamoshida. <sighs> Isn't this your only option? I'll come back later. Make sure you've made your decision by then. Man, we're getting all worked up for nothing. Damn it. I'll try and see if I can figure out another way. Come on, let's get out of here. Yep, invade his private property, property and steal it for good. Alright, another art message. Yo, some of the guys in my class have been talking about that Suzuki girl. Looks like rumors are going around about her and Kamoshida. If they're true, it's no wonder I can't get her to talk. Still, something about that doesn't seem right. Do you know something? It's nothing so clear-cut, but I've known Takamaki and Suzuki since middle school. There's just no way Kamoshida is their type, you know? So I gotta wonder where these rumors came from. I guess we'll get to it tomorrow. See ya! I wonder what the other students are saying. I should listen as I go home. Takamaki always looked kind of unhappy when Mr. Kamashita talks to her. Maybe she doesn't want to talk to him at school to show off she's got him wrapped around his finger. Ugh, gross. Oh, so that's what they're going on. I wonder how far they've gone together. Wow. Might as well keep, uh, oh, that will just take us out. We just need to go home then, I guess. Let's just keep looking. Sakamoto has been asking questions about the volleyball team. Just who did? Just who does he think he is? The 
volatile team's never going to tell him anything. They're all completely loyal to Kamoshia. Well, if Kamoshia likes them, their future's pretty much set. Other of course, they'd back them. Speaking of which, I hear Kamoshia's new favorite girl is someone called named Suzui. Oh, the girl who was chosen to be a regular? Ah, her face is all swollen. It looked pretty bad. Because someone is busy throwing balls into people's faces. traumatized from the video of that accident. I've been afraid of riding the train ever since. There's been similar accidents before, right? What happens if you get a psychotic breakdown? Well, out of nowhere, you go crazy, violent, and then you suddenly pass out. The, in the very end, you die in a lot of pain. That's, you die or you're as good as dead. Hi, New Jersey. I wonder if I've shot with her. You really want Kamoshia's leftovers? I'd like the girl with the ponytail better. Oh, you mean from the volleyball team? I guess I kind of get you. There's also a really cute first year with a ponytail, though. Why not her? Wait, there was a girl like that? I didn't look at all. You mean our mystery girl? Hmm? Alright, well... We have to obediently return home. Once we take the next train, because we missed two trains already. feeling up to it wait what that's not what you promised and you call yourself a teacher this has nothing to do with Shiho uh, <sighs> Shiho's starting position Are you listening? Well, it wasn't on purpose. Haven't you heard of privacy? Uh, no, I was out of line. Sorry. So, how much did you hear? Well, it was the pouch of your friend. Shio. It's nothing at all. Nothing. That seems to be a hell of a lot of something. I wonder what happened. I should follow her. Alright, to the underground walkway. Down for a second. Why? Why do you keep worrying about me? <laughs> Let's go somewhere safe. What the heck? I really don't get you. I don't have anything to talk about with you. It was just an argument. Uh, with Kamashita? It seems like she's really stressed out. You've heard the rumors, haven't you? 
about Mr. Kamoshida. Everyone says we're getting it on. But that's so not true. <clears throat> that was him on the other line. I avoided giving him my number for the longest time. He told me to go to his place after this. <sighs> you know what it means. If I turn him down, he said he'd take my friend off as a regular on the team. I've been telling myself this is all for Shiho's sake. I can't take it anymore. Uh, uh. I've had enough of this. I hate him. But still, Shiho's my best friend. She's all I have left in that sorry excuse of a school. Tell me, what should I do? Sorry, I shouldn't have asked. It's not your problem. <laughs> what? What am I saying? I barely even talked to you before. It's fine. Huh? So weird. Usually everyone just ignores me. Are you really a bad person? I've heard people talking about you, but I just don't see it. What are they saying? Uh, that you assaulted someone. That you almost killed them. Kinda had a feeling they were all just exaggerations. You seemed lonely. Almost like you didn't belong anywhere. You're the same in that regard. Maybe that's why it was so easy for me to talk to you. Is there really no way for me to help Shio? I wish he'd just change his mind. Like, forget about me and everything. As if something like that would ever happen. I mean, it could happen, you just have to believe. <laughs> I wasn't asking for a serious response. But I do feel a bit better now. I'm gonna head home. Don't tell anyone what I told you, okay? I'll try and think of a way to persuade Kamoshida. Well, thanks. No problem. Yeah, it could just be fate. Suzui. Are you leaving? What is it? Mr. Kamashita's asking for you. He's in the PE faculty office. Uh-oh. What did he say? I don't know. Well, I have to go. You're late. Where have you been? The trains were a bit delayed. Don't give me those lies. By the way, you haven't been hanging around any bad influences, have you? Never. Alright. Even if you do hang with people, just be careful you don't choose someone who will ruin your life. Ooh. Look at the time. Seriously, think about how I feel having to stay up here waiting for you. Hey, I'm leaving. In the future, try not to come back so damn late. Understood? All right. So, what do you think what, about what Morgana told us? I don't know if I'm getting all that stuff about stealing desires. And Kamashi's gonna turn, like, brain dead if we mess up, right? I mean, sure, I'm pissed at him, but I don't know if I really want to kill the guy. But, I mean, I'm not sure really what to say on this. 
rate. Well, at any rate, any, we're not going to sell anything at this rate. I think murder is a bit much, though. Oh, well. I'll try and see if I can kind of find a way tonight. Still can't clean up anything. Stealing Kamashia's distorted desires. Can we really do it? Anyways, we should get some sleep. Alright, Friday. I can't believe Suzui senpai missed out on such an important meeting. I wonder what happened. Mr. Kamashia asked to see her. I heard rumors about how the two of them stay late together. I wonder what's going on. You don't think they're... Hey! It's the best girl that everybody likes right behind us, I think. I, I see you. Oh, I'm skipping things. Man, it's been nothing but bad news lately. I'm worried about the future. Oh, that reminds me. Apparently, a guest is coming to school today. Some young guy, I think. Oh, tell me more. So I assume all of you know about the separation of powers. There are three branches in our government. The National Diet is legislative, the Cabinet is executive, and the Supreme Court is judiciary. This division of power provides checks and balances, which ensures no one branch becomes unstoppable. Have you made up your mind? No matter how much thinking you do, there's only one option. You'd be better off just listening to me. Why are you in here? Don't talk. Hmm. Did I just hear a cat just now? No, Mr. Ishimaru. <coughs> Meow! Hmm. Could that rumored cat be somewhere nearby? Settle down! We're in the middle of an important lecture. It's no use. I can't think of any other way. Let's just concentrate for now. I can't deal with that shit right now. I mean, what are we gonna do about Kamashita? Do we just gotta go along with what the cat says? Ugh, that damn thermal. If you only knew, I'm reading this too. Hey! What's that? Enough! This is a classroom! Wait. She's going to jump! Suzui? Shiho? For real? Come Who on, let's go. It? Hey, stay in your seats. Do not step foot outside of this room. No way. Huh? Is she gonna commit suicide? It's Suzui. She has Suzui. Huh? Suzui. Hey, oh God. God. Holy crap! She fell! She jumped! She jumped! Oh, what about it? Calm down! Back to your seats! So... Why? She... Hey, what's going on? We should head to the courtyard too. Hey, did you see her fall? I wonder if she's okay. Yeah, I saw it. After falling from that height, she might be seriously hurt or worse. We gotta head downstairs pronto. What the hell is this? There's, There's no, no way, way we're gonna, gonna get past all these goddamn people. Let's try going through the practice building. Alright. Practice building is, uh, the other way. Let me... 
Oh, the courtyard's this way. I didn't go to the uh, exclamation point. This sucks. Oops. Oh, crap. Class is still in session. Shield. What the hell's wrong with these people? We need someone to go with her. Are there any teachers around? Uh, I'm not in charge of her class, though. Well, we should leave this to Principal Kobayakawa. I'll go! Please hurry! Shio... Why? Mon, I'm sorry. I... I can't take this... anymore. Shio? Rooms at once. <gasps> that guy. Hey, wasn't Mishima acting weird? No, something. We're gonna make him talk this time. Teachers, return to your classrooms for the time being. Please do not let any students go home yet. Why'd you run like that, huh? I didn't run. She jumped and tried to kill herself! <laughs> Leave me alone. Just tell us. We don't really want any He's trouble. right. We ain't trying to get you busted. We won't say you talked either. Suzui. She was called out by Mr. Kamashita. Wait, what? I was called by him a number of times, too, to the teacher's room. It wasn't just me or Suzui, either. He'd nominate someone when he was in a bad mood and hit them. So the physical punishment thing was for real. And yesterday, he called Suzui out of the blue. She didn't make any mistakes or anything. Mr. Kamashita seemed really irritated that day. So it must have been worse than usual. He didn't... That son of a bitch! Uh... I bet... Sakamoto's going to find Mr. Kamashita. Mr. Kamashita's probably in the PE faculty office on the second floor. At this point, we gotta actually leave. He went into the PE faculty office. Let's hurry. We have to go after him. Right. Huh? You bastard! The hell did you do to that girl? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me! That is enough! What you did was in coaching. What did you say? You... You ordered me to call Suzui here. I can only imagine what you did to her. You're going on and on about things you have no proof of. Basically, you're simply making these claims because you can't be a regular on the team, right? That's not what this is about! Even if it is exactly as you imagine it to be, hypothetically speaking, what can you do? We just received a call from a hospital. Suzui's in a coma, and her chances of recovery are slim. How would someone like that make a statement? There's no chance of her getting better, I hear. Oh, the poor girl. No. I can't be. God damn! This again? Does this mean we need to have yet another case of self-defense? You shut your mouth, you son of a bitch! 
Why are you stopping me? It's not worth it. As much as we want to punch this guy in his comically abused, comically distorted face, it's not worth it getting expelled. But still. Oh, you're stopping him? What a surprise. There's no need to hold back. Why not attack me? Oh, you can. <laughs> but of course you can. Everyone present right now will be expelled. I'm reporting all of you at the next board meeting. What? You can't make a decision like that! Who would seriously consider what scum like you say? You threaten me too, Mishima. So you're just as responsible. Huh? To think you didn't know why I kept someone as talentless as you on the team. You act like you're a victim. But you leaked his criminal records, didn't you? It's all over the internet, correct? How terrible. Mishima? He told me to do it. I had no choice. <laughs> now, are we finished here? You're all expelled. You're done for. Your futures are mine to take. Now get out of my sight. I can't believe this asshole's getting away with this! He can't give up. Huh? Oh, right! We have that! Huh? Have you lost your minds? You worthless kids aren't making any sense. But sure, go ahead and try. After all, you'll have plenty of time to kill until expulsion. Can't waste any time. We gotta hurry up and go to that world and beat the shit out of that asshole. We're not beating him up. We're simply stealing his distorted desires. Can I assume that you've made up your minds about this? About how he might suffer a mental shutdown? I have. Someone almost died because of him. I don't give a rat's ass what happens to him anymore. And you? I agree. Then it's settled. By the way, is getting rid of a palace hard? You've tried it before, right? When did I ever say that? Huh? What? Were you just pretending to know? Is it true that you're getting expelled? Everyone's talking about it. That asshole's at it again. So you came all this way to tell us that? You're going to deal with Kamoshida. Let me in on it too. I can't just sit back and do nothing after what happened to Shiho. This has nothing to do with you. Don't butt your head into this. But it does! Shiho's my... I said don't get in our way! <sighs> that was harsh. We can't take her somewhere like that. I hope she doesn't do anything too crazy. Women can be much bolder than men at times. We just gotta hurry up and deal with Kamoshida. Let's go already! The moment we cross over, we'll treat each other like phantom thieves. So I hope you're ready. Uh-huh. Phantom thieves? Those who covertly sneak in and stylishly steal treasure. That is what we become. You see. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. So we just gotta say the school, Kamoshida's name, and castle. And then we end up in Bizarro World. How the hell's all this work? Someone make it? Uh, of course. <laughs> That's kind of creepy, but, uh... Eh, seems useful enough. We'll show that effing Kamoshida. Let's go. They really are going to do something. They're doing something on their phone? The name... The school? Huh? Oh boy. Time to bust on through! What is this? 
Sakamaki? <gasps> that voice! Sakamoto? And are you? Wh why are you here? How should I know? What's going on? Hey, where are we? Isn't this the school? I see. Perhaps she was dragged in because of that app thing. If multiple people can enter with the person who uses it, it stands to reason it'll pull anyone nearby. For real? Wait, so this is related to Kamoshida? Anyways, you gotta leave! No! The shadows are going to find us if you make a scene. No way! It talked! Oh my god! It's a monster cat! Monster? You better explain what's going on! I won't leave until you do! <sighs> Looks like we gotta force her. But how are we supposed to do that? Just take her back to where we came in. That's how it worked last time, right? Oh, oh yeah! Can you lend me a hand? I oh, got it. What are you? We'll explain after everything's over. Hey! And just where are you touching? Whoa, sorry, I didn't mean. That's not important. You guys, seriously? Ah! <sighs> we better be careful from now on when we use that app. You should have checked the tools you used. Why do I, the one who was just watching, know more about it than you two? Shut up. Ah, jeez. Takamaki found out right when we were starting off. We gotta deal with this fast. That girl's name is An Takamaki, right? Lady An. Also, I hate the hexers, and yeah, I'm actually, uh... Hoping that you are enjoying the new Yu-Gi-Oh box that comes out, and especially with the reprints and stuff like that, as you mentioned. So, uh, have a good time with that. All right. The shadows have noticed us. You better brace yourselves. Got it? We're counting on you, Joker. Joker? Is that a nickname? Don't refer to it in such a lame way. It's a code name. What kind of stupid phantom thief would use their real name? I'm not down for that. And there's no telling what kind of effect yelling our real names will have on the palace. It's just a precaution. So, uh, why is he Joker? Because he's our trump card when it comes to fighting strength. Not bad. It's settled then. Next up is you, Ryuji. You'll be... let's see... Thug. Are you picking a fight with me? Yeah, I'll choose it myself! <laughs> when it comes to me, it's gotta be this mask. Honestly, I actually kinda like it. What if we named me after this? Fine. Why not Skull, then? Oh, that sounds awesome! <laughs> I'm Skull! What do we do about this one's code name? Uh, what do you think? How about... Mona? Well, if Joker thinks it's easier to call me that, then I'll go with it. All right, from here on out, we are Joker, Skull, and Mona. We need to be absolutely thorough about using those code names from now on. All right, time to go steal this treasure thing. Let's make a dash for it. If you hold ZR while moving, you'll be able to dash. This will help you traverse the palace quickly, but be careful. While dashing, you'll be more easily spied by enemies. Damn it. That door won't open. Yeah! Alright, they don't know what this place is yet. All right, let's go. Hey, look, ain't that... Those intruders the other day were quite entertaining. However, I can't allow that trash to ransack my castle. Strengthen the security, kill them on sight. 
I'll reward whoever brings me their heads. Praise be to King Kamashita! Death to the intruders! Hey, Mona, can't we just beat the crap out of him and call it a day? Look at all those soldiers, idiot! It'd be suicide! And I'm sure you don't want a repeat of last time. Besides, don't you want him to confess his sins? There's no point beating him up. We need to steal his materialized desires. The treasure. Fine, uh, so where is it? It has to be somewhere in the depths of this castle. Let's infiltrate further in while he's out here. All right. Damn it. Damn it. There's a guard over here, too. What do we do? Should we kick its ass? Hold on. This might be a good opportunity to teach you something. All right. Are you ready to take it down? Let's go. Remember how I taught you hold-ups and all-out attacks? I'll teach you their practical use now. There's another use for hold-ups, besides simply defeating enemies. Shadows are beings born from people's hearts, so naturally they can talk, too. In other words, you can communicate with them. Get it? If you talk to them when they're cornered, they might offer money or items since they don't want to die. In fact, talking has a better chance of scoring something great, as opposed to just offing them. Well then, let's do the first step. Knock all the enemies down and do a hold-up! Alright. We're all knocked down! That was incredible, Joker! Seriously? You guys are the intruders that King Kamashia was talking about? You can't get much worse than this. What are you gonna do with me? So you let me live if I give you money? Well, something along those lines. Now let it be money or items. Just cough it up. Sorry! But this happened so suddenly, I actually don't have anything on me. I usually do though, you know? Well, wait, what? Hmm. This isn't how I was planning this to go. Uh, if that's the case, I guess it's time for you to go to hell. Uh, for wait! Real? Sorry. But we're in a hurry. No, wait up! Can't we work something out? Don't kill me, please. Won't you just let me go? Are you the type who can't say no? I totally know how you feel. I'm the same way. Oh, I feel different. Something's happening. What the? What's going on? Cool. Oh, yeah. I remember now. I don't belong just to King Kamashita. I'm an existence that drifts about in the sea of humanity souls. My real name is Pixie. I am thou. Thou art I. I'm Pixie. From now on, I'll live on inside your heart. Nice. We got the Pixie mask. What was that just now? What happened? You'll never see it come back. For real? What the hell is that about? Then we got sucked into Joker's mask. I have no idea. I wasn't expecting that either. Intruders, halt! Ah, crap, they noticed us. Since a new possibility within you stemming from the previous battle. Your potential allows you to hold multiple summons, as you can freely change with your persona when you summoned. Alright, so we can actually switch with the, with the persona menu. You press L or R to change persona. Outside of battle, press X, then select persona to change. You normally can change personas when you like, but during your battle, you can only change personas once per turn. It's time. Pixie! Ravage them! Is that the shadow from earlier? Don't tell me. Did you take in the shadow's appearance and powers as a persona? Yep. Persona! Go down! And now we can use Pixie's power for us. Hold up! Yeah, fine. I guess I'll talk first. I'll decide if I'm gonna Bless you. Yeah, hell of a job, Corny. Give me a 
Right here. Oh, we got a oh a revival bead. Holy! Does that mean you can wield multiple personas? Well, we didn't get that one, but we did get uh, a revival bead at least. That'll be useful. Hey, Mona, what was that about? What did Joker do? He sealed the enemy's appearance and powers into his mask and made it his new persona. Is such a feat even possible? Even I've never seen anyone pull that off. Is this good? Of course it is. Only one heart exists per person, so normally a person can only have one persona. Incredible. That ability will give us a huge advantage in battle. All right, try to do that even more if the opportunity arises. You better help out too, Skull. Hell yeah! We'll hold every last one of them up! During a holdup, you can negotiate with an enemy shadow. A successful negotiation may even earn you a new persona. If your enemy is a persona that you already have, a mask will appear beside its name. If you ask for it, lend me your power, or it will grant EXP to your own persona, even if it's not currently equipped. Decide whether you defeat your foes quickly with all attacks in your experience, or negotiate them to obtain a persona or another reward. <laughs> I like you even more now. I really do have something special after all. Well, we gotta continue on more with this castle. E yeah. I don't know why, but something feels off about this hallway. Well, we can't go that way. There's a treasure chest! I'll reveal your Who true you? form. All right. Now's our chance to strike. Go. Persona. Not this. Persona. Arsene. Go down. Persona. All right. It's almost scary how good I am. Then let's talk, Paul. All right. Humans are all I don't want to force. Give me your credit card. You need to bring. Great I am I'm Jack O'Lantern. Hope I'm you and you're me. You got the Jack O'Lantern mask. Your power's incredible, Joker. All right. There we go. Yeah, I know that's it's weird that sometimes they're called Pyrojack and then other times it's like uh Jack O' Lantern. Persona! Pixie! Alright, Pixie. That was incredible, Joker! Yeah, fine. Give me a break. Dagger. Oh. All right. That gives us more power and more accuracy too. 
We also can actually change our accuracy for, uh, stop. Because we have all this stuff for, uh, things. Dean glasses, uh, money boost, seven's emblem. Hmm. All sets must flee. And all out attack boost, gun accuracy. everyone some extra team glasses so we can get some uh, e early EXP. And we have all these other costumes that we could use right now, but... Yeah, let's just focus on having some bonus experience. Show me your true form! Like the next door we go through is this way. Huh? Hey, look! It's another hazy looking door. A safe room. We can discuss our strategy aside. This is that place from earlier. What's up with this app? Just said the word Sakamoto said, and I ended up. Princess? Huh? Aren't there even more shadows here than before? Just getting this far has been a real pain in my ass. It's all because you guys provoked Kamoshida, you know. Still, he seems to be awfully on guard. Anyways, how are we supposed to steal that treasure thing? Don't be so hasty. First, we'll need to secure an infiltration route. A what? A path to the treasure's location. But honestly, I think we'll need a little more manpower in order to accomplish this. At the very least, one more person would be nice. Hey, you say you don't have your memories and all, but somehow you still know about that kind of stuff? Do you think this thing's really got amnesia? Well, we have no choice. We have to believe in Mona as much as we can. We have nothing else to go with her. At least you're a step above that moron. Don't call me a moron! You sure talk big, but what if it turns out you're just some stray cat in the end? That can't be. Still, why was a princess in such an odd place? Princess? I could have sworn we were pursuing the readings of an intruder. It doesn't matter now. We must take her back to King Kamashita. Who's this princess they're talking about? I should probably look into this. <sighs> and yet another question goes unanswered. Stuff like the castle and that navigation app are mysterious, <laughs> but Morgana's got them both beat. Remember, no names. Oh, crap, sorry. What was I again? Oh, yes, uh, Skull. This is bad. That was fast. Your friend, Lady On. She's been taken by shadows. Wait, what? We sent her home earlier. If Lady On does indeed have the app, it could be possible. Oh no. Don't tell me it got put on hers just like mine. Damn it. We let her out for her own safety and she just came back in by herself. We don't got time to be taking a break. We need to hurry and rescue her. Let's do it. We might as well just make a quick save for her right now. Yes! Okay, let's go. She's just past that dying room looking place. Let's go. It's 
the weird bars. This way. Look, I'll apologize for touching the armor without permission. Uh, she totally doesn't get what's going on. Let's hurry. We have to save her. Now then. Do I have any items for, uh, SP? Uh, I have a Soma. Oh, we have... Oh, we have Soul Food, but I don't think that would be a good idea to, uh... Use it. Right this second. Let's go. Yes! <laughs> What's all this about? Seriously, I'm gonna call the cops! So, this is the intruder. Kamoshida? Who's that? More importantly, what is this place? Why is the school turned into something like this? I can't believe you mistook my aunt for someone like her. <laughs> Are you afraid? What is that outfit? Have you lost your mind? I do as I please here. After all, this is my castle. The world of my desires. What the... Wait, is this some red light district? What a lively slave. This isn't funny! Enough of the bullshit, Kamoshida! <laughs> the girls decided to tell me off. What do you think of that? Talking back is like... Totally unforgivable. In that case, she should be executed. <gasps> now then, how should I play with you? Shall I tear you into little pieces? Are you kidding me? This is effed up. Is that what he thinks of the girls on the volleyball team? That's... Takamaki! Just when I was about to start enjoying myself. What's the deal with this guy? You little... How many times are you gonna come back? I bet you just like those thieves. You came because you're pissed at me, huh? But, uh... Ah, I forget that chick's name. But it's your fault she jumped, you know. Huh? You were so reluctant to throw yourself onto me that I had her take your place. You bastard! <gasps> no! Take one more step and I'll kill her on the spot. Damn it! Just sit back and enjoy the dismantlement show. No, don't! Maybe I'll start with the clothes. You pervert! I, I just want to punch you in the face right now for that. <laughs> You're such a perv! Hey, what are we gonna do? <sighs> Takamaki! Is this my punishment for what happened to Shio? That's more like it. You should have looked like this from the start. Shio. I'm so sorry. Don't give in. Huh? You're right. Letting this piece of shit toy with me. <laughs> what was I thinking? It's like I always say, slaves should just behave and... Shut up. I've had enough of this. You piss! You son of a bitch! My, it's taken far too long. Uh, uh, Tell me, who is going to avenge her if you don't? Forgiving him was never the option. Such is the scream of the other you that dwells with you. I am thou, thou art I. We can finally forge a contract. I hear you, Carmen. You're right. 
No more holding back. <sighs> there you go. Nothing can be solved by restraining yourself. Understand? Then I'll gladly lend you my strength. <laughs> Cheap girl you can toy with, you scumbag. Bitch. You stole everything from Shiko. You destroyed her. Now it's your turn. I will rob you of everything. How dare you. Enough of your insolence. No, I've had enough of you. No one's gonna stop me now. Let's go, Carl. Oh boy, a toilet demon. Fun. How dare you deny King Kaboshida's love, you selfish lass! Pay for this insolence with your life! That dirtbag just sees women as sexual outlets! Don't make me laugh with that love bullshit! Come on, Carmen! Let's give him hell! Perfect! Let's go. Do you have anything, uh... Jack o' lantern! Ravage them! Yep. They're all knocked down! That was incredible, Joker! <laughs> okay, guys. Let's go! Hardcore! Okay, he resists, uh... He resists also physical attacks. Oh, my God! Yeah, we can't die here. All right, time for a counter. Arizona! There. They're all knocked down. That was incredible, Joker. Do it. Go. Okay, guys. Nope. To think there would be a woman who could stand up to King Kamoshita. <laughs> Outside of school, that guy's nothing but a pathetic loser. Patra learn. Oh shit. Wait! Why'd you come here, man? And more importantly, how? Hey, is that how you speak to a woman? Are you alright, Lady On? Lady On? Wait, what is this thing? Is it alive? How can it talk? And. Where in the world are we? J just calm down. Everything's going to be okay. Don't worry. How am I supposed to calm down? H huh? Why am I dressed like this? When did I... <sighs> What's with this? Just calm down for a second. How can you expect me to be calm? Well... I'm stumped. A search party will be coming for us soon. There's no time to explain. We don't have a choice. Let's retreat for now. We were just getting fired up and you had to go and get in the way. <sighs> Fine. Here, give me your arm. You take the other side. Thanks. Looks like we made it back. Hey, 
Are you okay? Well, pretty much. Wait, I lied. I'm still confused about all of this. You may be safe now, but a lot sure did happen back there. At any rate, we stand out too much here. Let's relocate to a safer spot. Which one you want? Whichever's not carbonated. Uh, they're both actually. Then... Here you go. Thanks. What about me? Huh? But uh, you're a cat. <laughs> Have you calmed down, Lady On? Um... Morgana, right? I really am talking to a cat. This feels so strange. Oh, sorry. You're not a cat, right? It's only natural that you're confused. Demanding that you understand all of this right after what you went through is asking too much. Honestly, I still can't believe what happened. And that power. My persona. It's the will of your rebellion, Lady On. With it, you'll be able to fight in that other world. So if what you told me is true, we can make Kamoshida have a change of heart, right? Is it really possible? Can we actually force him to confess his crimes? The volleyball team's keeping quiet about this while teachers and parents turn a blind eye. If guys like us try and complain, they're just gonna shoot us down. Going all in on this plan is the only choice we got. Then let me help too. I want to make him pay for what happened to Shiho. He just keeps going like nothing happened, even after what he did to her. I'll never forgive him. Wait, did you just say, let me help? You mean you want us to take you along? Don't act like I'm going to drag you down. Weren't you watching? I can fight too. Hey, what should we do? She'll be great for the team. I agree as well. We are lacking in manpower, after all. Don't worry. I'll protect her. Even if you said no, I'd just go in alone. Ah, right. She can go by herself. I guess it'd be more dangerous turning her down. Ah, fine. Then it's decided. Well, <laughs> I hope we get along. I'm going to make Kamoshida atone for what he did. Not just for Shiho's sake, but for everything he's done. I won't let any more people suffer because of him. I'll do whatever it takes. Right. I feel- I sense a strong fighting resolve from On. A group like yours must have relied on subtlety and misdirection. Otherwise, you'd never survive. Some of you might even have been hiding behind a public face their entire lives. If you're listening, then answer me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the lover's persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. The lover's confidant, on to Kamaki, now unlocked. Alright. Using personas of the lover's arcana will grant you an EXP burst due to arcana burst. Just let me know when you're heading back in. Oh, wait. We don't have each other's info. Hey, give me your number and chat ID. And, um... I'll be counting on you then. Same goes for you, Morgana. The pleasure is all mine, Lady On. What a kind girl. Such admirable consideration for others. And the innocence to cast herself into the jaws of death to achieve her goal. She cares about her friends, and she's beautiful to boot. What a girl. She's captured my heart. Dude, 
You know, it'd be better if this group could get together quick from now on. True. Our best option would be to make a secret hideout where we could discuss these things. Yep. Morgana's doing that. A hideout, huh? I like the sound of that. The school rooftop would work. It seems like nobody goes up there. For the time being, that will make the perfect hideout. I can't contact you from inside a palace, so I'll stay in this world. That being said, I'll need someone to take care of me. I'm personally nominating you. You should feel honored. Like I had a choice. This is all you. There's no way I can at my place. The train will be arriving well, soon. we now have our hideout, so let's meet there tomorrow. Okay, let's go look at my new residence for this world. Well, I can tell you one thing, it's gonna need some work. The Shujin Academy rooftop will be your hideout from now on. Stay upstairs while we're open for business. Alright, well, let's talk. Yes? Hey, lay off the customers. Sorry if he was rude, Doctor. I don't mind. Come on, you're getting in the way. Go on upstairs. Hey, potential uh, person of interest. <sighs> Wait till later. The cafe is open right now. Thanks. I'll see you later. Come back again. <laughs> That's it for today. Oh, that customer just now? She's the head doctor over that clinic down the street. Rumor has it she gives pretty crappy examinations and sells some weird homemade medicines on top of that. Medicine, you say? At least, that's what I've heard. I haven't been there myself. They should really just leave her alone. It's not like she's getting in the way of their lives. Hey, are we there yet? <sighs> well, I gotta get home and start making dinner. Place. Is this some kind of abandoned house? Hey, are you? I was wondering why I heard meowing. What did you bring it here for? Doesn't have a home, and it's abandoned. Nowhere, huh? Look, this place is a restaurant. Animals are a no-go. Though, I guess you might stay on good behavior if you've got a pet to take care of fine but keep it quiet when we're open for business and don't let it roam downstairs or I'll toss it out oh and I'm not gonna take care of it that's all on you right was that the ruler of this place yep he seemed pretty understanding for someone who keeps you cramped up in this dump but again I suppose to normal people I just sound like a meowing cat Seriously, I had to keep calling out in that cute little voice. Make sure you wash that dish. By the way, uh, have you decided on a name? Mm -hmm. Morgana? Huh. I was hoping I'd get to name it. But you didn't want to take responsibility for it. Why should you get to name it? Looks like the chief likes me better than you. Uh, don't get comfy. And to be honest, this place is heaven compared to Kamoshida's cells. Remember how you guys asked me before about what I am? To be honest, I don't remember anything about my birth. I think the metaverse's distortions made me lose both my memories and my true form. Is that form human? It has to be. I mean, why else would a cat be able to talk like this? There's no other possible explanation. There's no doubt that the distortions were what caused me to lose my real self. I'm sure that once they're purged, I'll finally be able to get that self back. And I have a pretty good idea on how to do it, too. That's why I was in the castle in the first place. Come to think of it, I didn't get hungry over in that world. Let me make myself clear. 
Your taking care of me won't be for nothing. It'll be give and take, due to my knowledgeable and dexterous nature. I have a lot of intel on infiltration tools. Really? Whoa. I can't tell you more unless we settle on a deal. In exchange for you keeping me here, I'll teach you about these tools. How does that sound? Let's do this. I like that answer. <laughs> then it's a deal. Morgana seems rather happy. Oh no, not this again. Skillful infiltrations and escapes to all manner of places. There's even the possibility that you use special tools and had someone who manufactured them. Answer me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Magician Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Alright, the Magician Arcana with um, Morgana is now available, and we got infiltration tools. So we can get basic tools available. Alright. I'll lecture you about the infiltration tools over time. By the way, the power you used in the palace was seriously amazing. The stronger that power gets, the more reliable it'll be as a trump card. Alright, I'm gonna stick with you wherever you go from today on. Personas are the strengths born from one's heart. Depending on what kind of life experience you gain, I bet it'll affect that power as well. And if you become acquainted with capable people, you might learn various useful skills too. This is all part of our deal. Got it? <sighs> I expect great things from you. Don't let me down, okay? Also, I'll accompany you when you go out. Don't worry, it's free of charge. Getting around in cat form seems pretty inconvenient. Well, it is what it is. I'll just have to deal with being carried in that bag of yours. Thanks for everything today. You saved me, and I didn't even thank you properly. Don't worry about it. I can't. Anyways, I wanted to let you know at least. See you tomorrow. You guys send messages to each other with that thing, right? I wanted to. So, I'm gonna have to ask you to type for me. <sighs> at any rate, is this really a place for someone to live? Oh! for the night. Well then. Tomorrow's going to be a busy day. Keep it together, all right? I feel a strange weight pressing down on my body. Is the stress of Kamashiya's threat weighing on me? Or is it Morgana actually taking up the bed? Maybe crowded, but it looks like you can still grab a seat if you're lucky. Hmm. Well, we're riding the train. We've got some downtime. I wonder if we could put it to some good use. What's wrong? You don't look so good. I haven't been feeling well lately. My head's all foggy and I have no energy. I tried every drug at the pharmacy, but nothing works. Do I have some new virus? Well, that's not good. Is that one onset of a psychotic breakdown? Uh, what should I do? Am I gonna die? No, no, calm down, calm down. Let's go to the clinic. Come on. I'm sure the doctor can prescribe you something that'll fix you right up. I see. Doctors have the best medicine, huh? 
Hey, wasn't there a doctor, that one customer at LeBlanc a doctor? She didn't seem like a typical doctor. She was wearing punk clothes. No! That's not what's important here, though she did have an interesting fashion sense. It might be nice to have some strong medicine to use in the palace. Morning! Alright, let's head to school together. I mean, it's right there, but whatever. After school, right? Big text now, we're in class. Whoa, you mean you're actually listening to all this crap? Yeah, but none of it's really sticking to me today. I know, right? Anyways, hideout after school? What exactly is this hideout? The school roof. Wait, we can still go up there? Yeah, I'll let you in. Well, I'll be watching. Just count up when school's open. Gotcha. I'm fine, you if you're late. Hey, are you listening? Pay attention! Is that how you listen when someone's talking to you? I feel a murderous intent. Ow! Ooh, that looked like it hurt. He hit him right in the forehead. Pay attention! That's what you get for daydreaming. Kids say they have no respect for their elders. <sighs> Good grief. Looks like you'll need more proficiency to completely dodge that. Looks like we're all here. Okay, let's get going. Hold on, it's still too early for us to head to the palace. But why? Don't we just gotta steal that treasure thing? Don't underestimate the dangers of that place. We need to prepare. Ain't that persona shit we got enough to deal with it? That's exactly what I mean when I say don't underestimate it. You'll die if you mess up in there. So again, we need to prepare before we head in. But... How exactly are we supposed to do that? I'm glad you asked, Lady On. First, we'll need to find better equipment for all of you. You talking about weapons? Oh, I know a kick-ass place. In that case, you can handle that side of things. The only other thing would be stocking up on medicine. Fatigue is unavoidable in a palace. And where can we get medicine? Don't worry, I know just the place. I hope you look forward to it, Lady On. Now then. He and I have some business in Yongen, so let's head off for today. Uh, what Just come with me. I won't be able to get close enough by myself. Well, it looks like we're going to see the clinic. Can I talk? Alright. Remember that customer you met at LeBlanc the other day? The doctor who prescribed his medication after a quick examination. She was sticking in that booth. Yeah, I remember. Actually, I just realized something. If she's the kind of doctor who gets sketchy rumors like that, maybe she'll help us out. Hey. All right. To the clinic. This is the clinic that the chief mentioned. Now, how can we get them to give us some medicine? Well, we need to be honest. How do you expect normal people to understand what a palace is? This. We'll make something up. Well, I guess that's the only choice we have. We'll just have to go for it. All right, let's step inside. Well, is this your first visit? I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. At LeBlanc. Hmm. Well, whatever. So, what are you here for today? My body feels lethargic. Mm, fine. Please head to the exam room. In a case like yours, it's usually just due to stress. I'm gonna prescribe you some pain relievers, okay? Actually, I still need to restock those. So let's go with sleeping pills instead. Sleep is the best medicine anyway. Which type of pill do you want? A sweet tasting one or a bitter one? Whichever works. How about a stinky one then? Just kidding, there's no such pill. All right, why don't we stop beating around the bush? You're not sick at all, are you? I'm not as dumb as I look, you know. 
I'm guessing you're here because you heard the rumors about me, hmm? But are those rumors true? Who's to say? But as a result, all I get are patients with ulterior motives now. I guess high school kids have it tough nowadays too, huh? Well, fine. I'll prescribe you some medication. But only medication that will help you recover your health. I guess it's fine. You seem pretty earnest, and you don't look like you'll be any trouble. This is my private practice. All the medicine I dispense is original. I have a license to make my own formulas. You've likely seen them being sold at various hospitals. It's your responsibility to take care of yourself. So, if that's okay with you, stop by any time. I mean, that'll really help. Great. It's nice that you're so quick on the uptake. Saves me the hassle. You're a pretty weird kid, you know? I wonder what you're going to use the medicine for. Well, as long as you don't cause me any trouble, it's not my problem. This is all I've got right okay, now. Okay, which one? Nice, we actually can have a bunch of stuff. You want that one? Thanks. That should work. Here you go. You want that one? Thanks. Take care. In the love of that. Oh, the starting cash? Uh, because this is... Because that this is actually the bonuses from like all the DLC content that we got um, when we started the game. So, in addition to like all the costumes and accessories, we got a hundred thousand yen. So that's why we got all that starting cash. So this isn't a uh, returning playthrough or anything. This is a first playthrough. So, yep. Do you have a cold, stomach ache, athlete's foot? Whatever it is, you'll need to take a number. Enough of this. You're the only one who could have developed that type of medicine. <sighs> I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Rumor has it it's a drug so potent it could give a person unlimited power. Really? That's news to me. Developing experimental drugs, medicine, and herbal remedies violates all health regulations. Are you attempting to create a super stimulant? A drug like that will only become a social issue. You're really persistent, you know that? I'm just a quack. The police might not be taking action, but I'll imagine the media will soon pick up on it. You intend to ruin my reputation again, huh? You're a disgrace to the medical community. <sighs> What's with that look? That was your mistake, was it not? I won't be responsible for your criminal actions. Dispose of that medicine immediately and resign. The name Tei Tai Takamaki, Tei Takemi will never Hey, is somebody there? Uh-oh, got a bail. Man. Jeez, they almost caught us. Sounds like they were talking about something dangerous. Did that woman behind some extra strong medicine? We could use that. Yes. I agree. If it's that strong, it might come in handy at the palace. All right, let's come back when that man is in. We shouldn't involve people who have nothing to do with this. Keep the van thieves a secret, okay? okay? Anyway, great work. That went really well. So, you know the store I mentioned with the model guns? It's in Shibuya. I can go with you if you want. Well, that sounds good. Sweet. Well, let's figure out where to meet. You at least know how to get to Shibuya Station, yeah? Hey, I can't make it. Can I trust you guys to check the place out for me? You can't come? Not tomorrow. I made plans to go see Shiha in the hospital. Ah, gotcha. Don't worry, we got this. We'll see you in Shibuya. I'll be right in the station. We might be able to get our hands on some decent stuff if this store really has model guns. Well, we can leave that for tomorrow. Let's go home. Okay. It's going smoothly so far. Once we're prepared, let's take on the palace. That's where the real fun starts. Got it? Oh! That desk could look... 
It's like a... Mm. Shibuya. Well, I know where it is, but I can't seem to remember whether or not I've actually been there. Let's turn in for the night. Okay. Okay, we're meeting Ryuji tomorrow, so we can't oversleep. Got it. Sunday! So we have a whole day to ourselves. Sup? Looks like you made it. The shop's on Central Street, so we go through the crossing to get there. The crossing? That's what we call the Shibuya crossing. It's this huge intersection with people crossing the street from every direction. Once we get past that, we'll pretty much be at Center Street. Let's go! Everyone, wake up! This country is twisted. While Japanese society may appear to be thriving, many young people have not been as blessed as their elders. They have no jobs, no savings, no financial security whatsoever. These young people should be tackling their futures head on, but instead, they're too busy merely trying to survive. People give speeches all the time. Plus, politics are pretty boring anyways. Yep, this guy could be useful later. Everyone. Strange incidents are occurring. What is the cause of them all? The runaway train scent? The mysterious psychotic breakdown phenomenon? These are all signs of the end of our once peaceful days. The most important thing is... Now is the time for our politicians to show their strength, and yet... Hey, hey! If you're interested in politics, we should come back another time. Uh, no Alright, to Central Street we go. Me. The shop can be pretty confusing to find sometimes. Let's talk to people though. Hey, you student? Looking for a part time job? It's easy money. I can make a recommendation just for you. Hey! Don't you want some pocket chains? I can help you out. Oh, that's disappointing. We'll come back if you change your mind. Okay, let's go. Hey! This way. Yeah. This is it. Pretty legit, huh? This place looks sketchy, right? To be honest, it'd be a bit scary to go in alone. Let's check out what's inside. Oh yeah. Uh, before we head in, you know anything about guns and shit? Nah, I guess we can just ask the guy behind the counter if we can't figure out what we want. Come on, let's do this. You can now quick travel to the airsoft shop in Shibuya. Yeah, alright. Oh boy. <sighs> you know what you want yet? You looking for recommendations? I don't know, just buy whatever looks interesting to you. Ugh, some customer service. Fine, what do you want? An automatic? A revolver? Uh... Automatic? Dude, why are you talking about cars now? Ryuji, he's not... This is a gun shop and you're thinking... Well, you're thinking about automatic and manual, not automatic as in an automatic assault rifle. Listen, this here's an enthusiast shop. My regulars will be mad if I let a casual like you hang around. Yeah, Ryuji, stop being a casual. I'm not a freaking casual. I bought shit from here like last week. Ah, can't remember you. You bastard. And you, looking for something? Something that looks free. Oh, you guys planning a nice big bank robbery or something? What? That ain't it. We just like how they look is all. Anyways, you should have said before you two are enthusiasts. I'm always up for helping fresh faces. Some precautions first, though. Don't go around pointing them at other people. Keep them in a bag or something if you're outside. Oh, and don't let the fuzz catch wind of you having them. I don't need them coming around here. We'll be careful, we promise. You damn well better be. Now, if you look close, you'll be able to tell these are models. Real guns feel... different. 
Maybe someday I'll show you the real good stuff, though. If you got the guts for it, of course. But for now, you get the beginner selection. Just sit tight. I'll bring him out. <laughs> we did it, dude. We totally got to go for some fancy shit, right? Oh, I want him to shine. Oh, and here's the cash for mine. Pick me out something good. Oh, we get some extra yen. You can purchase model guns, range weapons, melee weapons, protectors, and accessories at the air shop stop. Melee weapons will increase the power of your normal attacks, which will be useful for those who want to deal with enemies while using skills. Range weapons increase the power of your gun attacks. They deal more damage than melee weapons, so they may be more useful against tougher enemies. Protectors decrease the damage you take, via longer, lasting longer in battle. Accessories have a variety of effects, such as providing skills and protections against status damage. Okay. Alright, which one? Hmm, that one? Don't break it, okay? That's what you're choosing? Do I get it? Sounds good. Hmm, that one? You better not use it to pull a prank. We got our melee weapons. All right. Set. All right. Which one? That's what you're choosing. Don't break it, okay? Sounds good. Hmm. That one. How's that? All right. Which one? Do I get? Sounds good. That's what you're choosing. You better not use it to pull a prank. Okay. All right, which one? Hmm, that one? How's that? Okay, keep on going. Sounds good. Yep. We know that that in order for us to actually have guts, we need, we need to have some extreme That's what you're choosing. Don't break it, okay? Work with the uh, EY, so... All right, which one? Hmm, you better not use it to pull a prank. Sounds good. That's what don't break it, okay? All right. All right, which one? Uh, come again. Yeah, there's something you should know. I don't buy off any model guns from other people, so keep that in mind. I don't want to deal with any problems with buying something that's already been modified. Later. That's all I gotta say. We should also equip uh, with on the seize glasses so we can get more experience. Money boost? Hi. Could it work with like. I probably think I should switch with the Maybe I need more money. Hmm? You going home already? Anyways, so I'll have you do the choosing from now on. Give me the strongest looking one. Got everyone ready for stuff. Boss, did you hear? Apparently that subway driver from the accident was acting really odd during his testimony hearing. Are you talking about that psychotic whatever thing people are going on about? Yeah, I heard it completely alters your personality. The news is saying the driver couldn't even speak when they tried asking him questions. Only an idiot would believe a preposterous story like that. Yeah, what an idiot. Only an idiot would believe such a dumb story like that. Nolan, sorry, but we're closing soon. <laughs> How rude. This must be why you don't get many customers. Your coffee's actually not half bad. The beans must be lamenting the sorry state of this store. Thanks for stopping in. Please come again. <laughs> I'm only trying to help you fix your business. Thanks for the coffee, at least. Jeez, what a pain. Oh, what do you want? If you're bored, go wash some dishes or something. Um, how's business? It doesn't concern you. It's all good as long as the shop doesn't fail. I'm not gonna go wearing a fake smile. Is that a model of yours? No, it's nothing like that. As long as I'm here, the world leaves me be. 
No annoyances or troublesome people to deal with. It's like my own personal hideaway. I'd be kind of screwed if I lost it. But I guess you would be too. So you better at least try and be useful around here. Anyway, I'm leaving now. Don't cause any trouble. So I went to see Shiho in the hospital. Well, how was she? Her condition is stable. They don't know when she'll regain consciousness, though. I'm sure she'll be okay. Yeah, she'll get better, I know it. I just need to believe in her. I'll never forgive Kamoshida. He's going to pay for what he did no matter what. We're just about ready to go to the palace. We just need to assemble some infiltration tools. Clean off that desk back there so we can use it. That desk. Hurry now and clean it up. Alright, let's clean it. Great. Now you can make things whenever you want. Now you can create infiltration tools at this work desk. I'll provide the materials this time. Try making a lockpick. With the necessary materials, you can make various infiltration tools. They'll be quite useful for palace exploration, so make sure to bring some along. Making tools will cost time to pass, but it'll improve your proficiency as well. Each time this ranks up, you can make one additional tool. During bad weather, your focus will allow you to make an additional tool. Check out all the shops to track down various crafting materials. Don't think too hard about it. You'll get the hang of it. Everyone starts off a little clumsy. Don't be sad if it doesn't go well at first, okay? Let's make it. Got it. Great. We should be able to use this. Yeah. Nice. And we got our proficiency up. We should be ready now. We're heading into the palace tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Morning. Come on, hurry up and get to class. Good morning. Good morning. That admirable behavior won't do you any good once you're expelled. Well, that wraps up the homeroom period. <clears throat> A word with you, please? There's something I'd like to ask you. It won't take long. I see you're already getting on top of the problem I'd mentioned this morning, Miss Kawakami. I appreciate the support. Thank you again. Oh, you know this guy, Yoshizawa? Yes, he lent me a helping hand earlier. I recommend you steer clear of the likes of him if you have any consideration for your future. Remember the discussion we just had? There are a number of students in this school you shouldn't get involved with. This one's at the top of the list. Oh, the delinquent transfer student? Sorry to interrupt, but I need to use the guidance office. Oh, pardon me. We should be going too. Don't want to get in the way of guiding this delinquent and all. Please excuse us. After you. I'm gonna get straight to the point. Did something happen between you and Mr. Kamoshida? What do you ask? Well, there was that little exchange just now, but that's not all. He gave me a brief lecture this morning and your name came up. Something about the dangers of a lack of supervision. I don't mean to pry, but just make sure you don't go causing trouble, okay? Oh, and one more thing. That girl outside the office? You didn't make a pass at her, did you? I mean, of course not. All right. Mr. Kamoshida has a real close eye on you. Apparently, you've been getting involved with Sakamoto-kun. You seem acquainted with Yoshizawa-san as well. 
Maybe you're just naturally drawn to athletes? Sorry, bad joke. That's all I wanted to discuss. You're free to go. Anyway... So I saw Kamoshi at the school gate this morning. He was just standing there looking at me with a shitting grin, grin on his face. Ugh, that's annoying. He was probably mocking you. Honestly, he seemed that got me even more fired up about this. We're definitely gonna pull this one off. Yeah, I've been worried about Shio, but I want to concentrate on our operation too. And I won't let myself get exhausted like last time. The board means May 2nd, right? We just gotta take care of him before that. I'm ready for this. The same goes for me. Me too! I'm doing my best. You don't go in without me, okay? Yeah, you better let us know if you're gonna come and going into the palace. trouble on the first day of school. Those guys are getting expelled. Nobody wants a troublemaker in school. Everyone's got high hopes on the new girl Yoshisawa chan. Damn, she's fine. I wonder if I'll have a shot with her. Okay. It's finally time to set the plane in motion. But the others are ready to go and waiting on the signal. Will we believe the plane to you? If you cannot execute the plan by the deadline, then it's game over. Keep vigilant be aware of the time remaining. Palaces contain strong enemies. Consult your allies and make use of the various facilities in the city to ensure successful infiltration. Mission start. When you have some free time and you don't know what to do, press the minus button to open the assist command and see what you can do, what you can do and what you can see. If network functions are on, you can use this to view the activity log. When you're at a loss, assist the command to give you recommendations based on current conditions for activities to do in competence to see. Press the X button for competence to see which is recommended for that time of day. Press A to open the status assist to see what daily activity is recommended for you. Press Y to have everyone get, give. Also, if you have network functions on, you can see the activity log of other players. So let's actually see. Half went to the palace. Part of the people went with Takemi, and others went home or studied at the library. I should ask her about the enhancing drugs I heard her mention the other day. Well... You got any special medicine? Huh? I remember you're the kid who was at the block. Regular medicine won't do the trick. I have my reasons. <sighs> Very well. Just head into the examination room for now. Oh. That medicine, huh? What are you trying to do? So, which conversation of mine did you eavesdrop on to hear that? It was obvious, actually. You call that hiding? Not that I care, of course. I was going to dispose of that medicine anyway. I got a little too carried away with it. But tell me, why would a high schooler like yourself be so interested in that medicine? It's very strange indeed. You don't seem to be very athletic, so... What exactly are you up to? Huh? Brain power? Oh, for your entrance exams. So you're looking to improve your concentration and reduce fatigue. That's not the best idea, but if that's what you want to do... Take care. Then good luck with that. I have no obligation to help you with that. Why don't you have an energy drink or something? You're really annoying, you know that? The medicine's really expensive, and it's not something a high schooler can get his hands on, on. It costs almost as much as a car. Got it? So how about you just go home? Can I work for it? What? Like, part-time help? Do you consider yourself someone with a good amount of stamina? 
I admit I have been looking for a young person around your age to help me out. But I haven't been able to find one even after putting an ad in the paper. Are you up for it? What would it be doing? Do you want to do it or not? Okay, then you'll be participating in clinical trials for my medicine. Hang on, I'll be right back. Here you go. <laughs> Worried about the side effects, huh? Well, you can relax. Rest assured, my autopsy is guaranteed to find out exactly what part of it killed you. <laughs> Did you change your mind? What? Aren't you going to take it? The exit's right there if you want to leave. If I don't drink this, the Cammy probably won't sell her me her medicine. Well, go on. Bottoms up. What? Can't believe you actually drank it. Bitter yet sour, it's beyond description. However, it's nothing I can't handle. Wow, still doing okay, huh? Hmm. Not bad for a high schooler. Uh. <laughs> well, game over, I guess. Good evening. Do you remember anything from the moment you took the medicine until now? Hmm. By the look in your eyes, I'd say you don't. You briefly woke from your coma, but you were completely dazed during the entire examination. You eventually lost consciousness and fell back asleep. Are you out of your mind? Only an idiot would have drank that. Well, it's for my exams. Fine. By the way, the reason you lost consciousness was because of the taste. It produces a foul smell when it mixes with gastric juices, similar to Sir Stroming. Oh well, all that matters is that thanks to you, I was able to get some good data. Okay, it's my turn to make good on my part of the deal. That's why I waited until you woke up. I don't want the general public to know about my original medicines. So, you're strictly prohibited from disclosing what happens here to anyone. Understood? Of course. Then it's a deal. As long as you come here for it, I'll give you the medicine at a good price whenever you want. I may even add additional selections in time. I look forward to your continued patronage. I made a deal with Takemi. Considering all the actions you've taken, you must have had someone with medical expertise. Who? And how did you treat your wounds? It'll be easy to find out who if we look into this, you know. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the death persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Death Arcana with A. Takemi, the back alley doctor. And we got rejuvenation, which increases the selection of healing items at the clinic. All right. So, when can you come back for the next clinical trial? Oh, you don't remember that part either? Well, I was saying that teenage test subjects are quite valuable in the medical research industry. So, I'll provide you the medicine for your entrance exams, and in exchange, you'll be my guinea pig. I have to perfect this medicine. If you're able to move now, you can go home. All right, take care. I feel like cooperating in this, that shady clinic tr clinical trial has increased my guts. Hey. But yeah, I'll contact you when I'm done prepping for the next clinical trial. 
and I'll put together some compensation by then for all your efforts today, but you're not getting in that bad and right. Based on today's results, I think I could whip up some new medicine for next time. Drop by when you're ready for it. Good to hear. You live pretty close, right? So you might feel some dizziness, so take it easy on your way home. Alright, take I'm, care. I'm not really in the mood to write up your autopsy, so take care of yourself. Don't touch anything in the kitchen. If you're gonna say you can use the table, don't leave that place in the eraser crumbs. Okay, so we can actually clean the shop too. In the evening, you'll be able to engage a variety of activities that will help you in daily life. You can study at the table to improve your knowledge, and at the counter, you can read and learn about various topics. Using the cleaning tools in the restroom will improve your kindness. If you spot a crossword puzzle at the table at the far end and successfully solve the puzzle, you'll improve your knowledge without time passing. Mm. When you solve a crossword puzzle, a knowledge will increase. Try to find the number that answers both the hint and the number of spaces. Hey, hey! How are school years divided? A student's test. Down. The final result. I assume it's semesters because that's kind of like the not. I've got it! The answer is semesters. Many schools separate their year into two or three semesters. In Japan, the new semester begins in April. The government divides the year differently, for example, differently. For example, July to June is the wheat year, and October to September is the sugar year, or pesticide. Alright. I see. Oh wow, even I could figure that one out. Nice! Maybe you got a little bit smarter for solving those crossword puzzles. And not only that, time didn't pass. Hey! Hmm. Let's see, we might as well just clean the room. Oh! Let's clean this up. Room can be brightened up with a little green foliage. Let's take good care of that plant so it won't dry up and wither away. Okay. That's incredible. Politics, law, and philosophy. These all sound like pretty difficult books. Take one at least. A little bit of effort will go a long way. Social thought. Take this too. Should be able to read. Yoncha Walker, number four. Mm. TV. We can't watch any broadcast without a tuner. It'd be a waste to just let sit here. Is there a place we could get home appliances for cheap? Well then. Alright, another day. I gotta get a girlfriend once I'm in high school, but I'm not having any luck at all. It's best girl again! She just passed by us! This sucks. Is there something wrong with me? Maybe self-improvement is the answer. Try reading some books. You'll get more than just some knowledge out of them, and it'll make you better in conversation. It'll make you desirable if you're more intelligent. It'll take hard work, though. It won't happen overnight. 
Yeah, the books make me sleepy. Guess I'll give it a go, though. It'll help me make me more popular with the ladies. Uh, is the library where you go to borrow books? Nice. Well, books are great, though. Oh. I totally agree. You can apparently read for free at the school library, so you should take advantage and try that. I also hear there's a bookstore over in Central Street. Alright. Alright, class. Let's get started. Hi there, everyone. I'm Mr. Hebertown, your biology teacher. You must all be shocked with what happened to Suzuki-san. It was a shock to me, too. Although, I can relate to how she felt. Her eyes were devoid of life as they looked upon this sad, hopeless world. Well, I suppose everyone has used the world differently. Let's have a test. Try to answer this. You there, take a look at this. Between A and B, which line seems longer? I think if they're the same, but let's check the network. They say that the same is actually the highest. This is it. You do know. That's correct. It seems your eyes see your eyes turn true. This is an optical illusion. Some people see it correctly and some do not. Isn't it strange that they view the same image differently? Humans don't see the world as it is. We simply process visual information within our, with our brain. No way. Oh, wow, really? He seems kind of smart, doesn't he? Nice going. Nice. Rank it up, going up with our knowledge. How you see the world is nothing more than a trick of the mind. It is all mere cognition. There is no proof that the world each of us sees is the same. I see. How you see the world depends on your brain's cognition, huh? Optical illusions in the metaverse might be more similar than you think. Hey, where are you right now? I'm still in the classroom. I'm still at school too. I'm by the staircase outside of your classroom. Think we should head into the palace today? Let's go to them. Oh, for real? Hey, listen, man. Maybe it's because I haven't been moving around as much lately, but I feel like I'm getting weak. We're probably gonna run into some pretty tough shadows sometime. We should try to get stronger too. It's sunny outside. Perfect for training. So you, so you want to get your blood pumping? Wow. Seems like even Ryuji has a lot on his mind. It's true that during your body will be able to move when it counts. Commandants will send you invitations to spend them by IM. Some will be important. You can accept the invitation by responding to the message, but there's no need to reply immediately. A text message that I've not been responding will have hold by the message. Wait too long to reply. Not every IM needs to reply. Accept invitations from people you're interested in. Okay. Wanna go to the palace today? I'll leave it to you when it's said to meet up. Let's go to the palace. Okay, I'll head to the hideout. I hope you all understand that our time limit is May 2nd. We basically just have to go to that castle and steal the treasure from Kamoshida, right? But wait, what even is a treasure? I wanna know that before we do anything. A treasure is the physical form of the palace ruler's distorted desires. In other words, it's the core of the palace. Once we steal it, the palace will crumble. I think. Having said all that, even I don't know what Kamoshida's treasure is going to be. And where can we find it? There's no way of knowing that until we go in and find out. But if I had to guess, I'd say he has it locked up somewhere in the depths of the palace. I think I get it now. We just gotta find the treasure, yeah? Pretty much. There's just a lot we won't know until we go in. In any case, our objective is to find the treasure's location somewhere in the palace. Make sure we go about this with time to spare so we can avoid any unforeseen circumstances. I expect great things from you guys. Before infiltrating the palace, check your progress with the whole meeting option. Listen to your friends' opinions and decide the best course of action. Instead, collecting the infiltrated palace will take you to the palace. You cannot purchase items while in the palace, so be sure you're well prepared. If it's night, if it will be night time when you return from the palace. If time runs out, it's a game over. Keep an eye on the time remaining. Now then. Let's start our strategy. 
strategy meeting. Okay, meeting adjourned. So we might as well just okay, go and actually infiltrate go. the palace. So let's go. But damn. Hmm? What's up? Nothing. Uh, I was just thinking we should choose a code name for you too. A code name? I'm Skull. He's Joker, and that's Mona. Judging by your costume. I mean, she's got that tail and stuff, so... What do you think? Cat girl, sexy cat, or kitty woman? That's copyrighted, though. Wait! Is that what you're going to call me from now on? I am so not down with this. What do you want to be called, then? Um, there's something better than just a little cat. Maybe... Panther? That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Huh? Why? Cause it sounds more... ferocious? She's a cougar. Morgana, why? Don't call me that! More importantly, Kamoshida. Oh, right. Let's go. Let's start fresh and get going. It's game time from this point forward. I'll teach you guys the basics of infiltrating a palace as we go. Uh-oh. My master would like a word with you. The prisoner has returned. Well done. It seems you have remembered my words. You truly make it worth rehabilitating you. What's that mean? <laughs> I am not attempting to withhold information from you. The essence of the rehabilitation that you must complete will be explained in due time. Once you encounter allies who share your ideals and discover your place in reality, only then will I explain it all. Such a day should not be far off. This time, I wish to introduce you to the aid we are providing. What do you mean? Due to your potential in wielding the power of the wild card, you can handle more than one persona. That power holds infinite possibilities. We will assist you in nurturing that potential. To that end, we must execute your persona. <laughs> Do not be alarmed. Personas are personalities that exist within you. Thus, you will only be discarding old personalities to have them be reborn as new ones. By discarding your old identity, you give way to a new one. Hence, we call that process execution. Think of it as the fusion of your personas. To start, select the first persona you wish to fuse. Now, before you select the second persona, allow me to tell you something greatly important. Do you remember how I mentioned forming bonds with confidants? Personas are the power of the heart. The stronger those bonds, the stronger your personas will be. In other words, the effects of your bonds on execution, or fusion, if you will, are quite substantial. When you fuse a persona that shares its arcana with one of your bonds, it will gain great power. This will be a guiding principle for your forays into fusion. Try not to forget it. Moreover, there is one thing I must warn you about. You cannot create a persona that surpasses your current level. This is because the resulting persona would be too powerful for you to handle effectively. 
Now then, check the fusion results and choose a persona that suits your stature. This is the form your new persona is expected to take after fusion. It's possible for them to inherit skills they normally wouldn't gain. These skills and specialties are distinct from one another. Skills are traits that can be passed along through fusion. Unfortunately, because we're only level 5, we can't make certain things. You okay with this? Excessive power only leads to destruction. Yep, we can't do this. You okay with this? Not terrible, but not impressive. 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 Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Mm. Master's not fit. No, we can't leave this tutorial. I see. A strong persona indeed. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. It's weak against fire and strong against, uh... Its power will be nothing unusual. We might as well just now for now. For a rebirth. Oh boy, the guillotine. Incubus. Now that you've got me within your mask, you're never gonna get a wink of sleep again. Ah, how impressive. A stronger persona has been born from the body and blood of the old. It shall be your new strength. What do you mean? Its worth will be made clearer when you return to the field of battle. Gather personas and bring them here. Gather a great many, execute them, and continue to give birth to even stronger personas. Developing your powers as such will play an integral role in the stand against ruin. So that your rehabilitation goes well, we have a variety of rituals to choose in regard to executions. And depending on the effort you put in, our master might consider further development of new rituals. Cry your tears of joy, inmate. Your heart is steadily gaining the strength of rebellion. It seems your rehabilitation is proceeding smoothly. A joyous fact indeed. In anticipation of this, I have prepared a gift for you. I hope that you shall accept it. I feel a deepened connection with Igor. Rank 2, Third Eye. See things normally marked by the naked eye by pressing the ZL button. Alright. Alright. You can now use the Confidant ability, Third Eye. After being the Third Eye both in the real world and the metaverse, while you see things normally hidden, use it to reveal various hints. That is a thief's skill allowing one to tap into their sixth sense and see what is hidden in the dark. I believe you can handle it now. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. Now then, if you have any requests, we will heed them. All right. Persona Fusion, Confidence Infusion, and Skill Inheritance have been added to the tutorials regarding Fusion. How 
welfare. Justine, you handle this. You want to register it? You'd like to register this? These are the paths you have walked. Also, yeah, we have a bunch of bonus stuff from the DLC, the uh, bonus DLC stuff that we get from uh, everything else, but I don't think we're going to use it right now until, unless we get like into a problem situation. So I would rather we not actually use any of the bonus uh, things. This persona? Like, if we get into a really deep, into really deep situation, then I would probably, uh, consider it, but not really. Is this what you want? Izanagi no Kami. Uh, I should probably, at one point, replay Persona 4 Golden on- I have the PC version, though, so it would have to be something I'd consider. Let's create new Time for some Fusion. Actually, we can't. Finished for now? Done already? What? No slacking off. All right. Something wrong? You were just standing around all of a sudden. To my teammates, it looked like I wasn't moving. Why are you spacing out like that? It's kind of hard to tell what you're thinking sometimes. Let's just say he's a man of high caliber. We're counting on you, Joker! So, where do we start? Let's head to the safe room we found last time. It's in the first floor of the West Building. That's pretty close to our usual entrance. It should be a pretty decent starting point. Safe room? It'll make sense when you see it. Well, let's head out. You can quick travel. Bring up the map and go to previously visited safe room and go there immediately. You can also quick travel from a safe room back to the palace entrance. Quick travel can only be used in these two locations. You can now receive aid from allies via the Thieves Guild. This is available when infiltrated in the metal fish or connected online. You can only request help from the as the Thieves Guild will be able to help you out with a variety of desperate situations. There's no downsides to receiving aid, so be sure to use proactive to find yourself in trouble. Let's go to the West Building, then. Oh. Aw, huh? what's up with this place? Oh. The network feature got turned off. Still not getting it. Well... So what do we do in the safe room? Take a break, duh, and we're gonna talk about stuff too. So this place is for resting up and plotting, got it. I guess I'll rest for a bit too, then let me know when we're ready to head out. Okay, we can consult our team. Oh! This is free! A stamina kit. Some items, such as healing IV, can only be used in safe rooms. You can use these items and select consult. These areas, these items will be used for items how they'll greatly heal your party, so use them in emergency situations. Well. Okay. What are your thoughts? Shall we go? Alright. I should write something. I haven't actually saved a bit, but I think that with the uh, small decision that the internet, the connection thing decided, hey, we're gonna disconnect, that, um, well, let's just, um, let's another save just in case. But I'm actually gonna call it here for tonight, so. I do appreciate everyone that actually came by, and uh, next time we will be continuing more within uh, Kamashita's palace and actually trying to find uh, his treasure. So, as always, uh, this episode and all previous other streams will be on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash as per usual. And 
I noticed that I got some drop frames, which kind of sucks, but uh, not much I can do about it. And I'm also doing an almost three hour stream. But yeah, uh, thank you everyone who uh, stopped on by and tuned in. This is Life Brawler, and I'm hoping to see you again on Monday with another Persona 5 stream. So take care, everybody.